Good evening and welcome to Rajya Sabha TV. Well, another day in Parliament and disruptions continue over the issue of demonetization. Well, this, uh, despite the presence of uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi in Lok Sabha today and the government saying that it was ready to discuss the issue, but not under a rule that entails voting. Well, that is the big story this evening in News at 6 on Rajya Sabha TV. I'm Ashwarya Kapoor and here are the he latest headlines. Disruptions in Parliament for the fifth day. Rajya Sabha witnesses repeated adjournments as opposition members demand the Prime Minister's presence in the House during the debate. United Opposition forms a human chain outside Parliament to protest against demonetization. Rahul Gandhi calls government's decision the world's biggest impromptu financial experiment. More relaxations on cash withdrawals, the National Bank for Agriculture and Rural Development uh, sanctions 21,000 crore rupees to pass it on primary agri-societies. No service charge on digital financial transactions using feature phones till 31st of December. And a day after the army vowed revenge for the killing of uh, three soldiers, a massive counter-offensive launched against Pakistan along the line of control. Well, the stalemate between the government and opposition over demonetization continued in the Rajya Sabha on Wednesday as well. The opposition insisted on a prime minister's presence, so while the government pressed for an immediate discussion. The impasse uh, washed away proceedings of the House for the fifth day in a row. The impasse over demonetization continued on Wednesday as the opposition tried to mount pressure on the government in the upper house. Amid the demand for the Prime Minister's presence during discussion, members also sought compensation for the families of persons who allegedly lost their lives due to demonetization. जवाब दे सामूहिक जिम्मेदारी को हटाते हुए किसी मंत्री को कॉन्फिडेंस में न ले या कि फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर को भी ऐसा निर्णय लेने में कॉन्फिडेंस में न ले तब इस चेयर की जिम्मेदारी होती है कि सदन का रेगुलेशन करके वो प्राइम मिनिस्टर को कॉल करे या किसी मिनिस्टर को कॉल करे आप सदन की राय ले लीजिए The opposition Congress also questioned the constitutional validity of the demonetization decision. No power is a violation of law. They cannot, even in, even in case of a financial emergency, the government has neither the authority nor the power to deny people access to their money. The government, however, slammed the opposition parties for derailing the legislative business of the House and insisted on a discussion. The chair urged the protesting members to resume the discussion on the topic. Please, please. No, I have to ask only one question. I have to ask only one question. First... How do you presume and why do you presume that PM will not come? You start the discussion. You start the discussion. Amid the war efforts, opposition members trooped into the well of the house, demanding the Prime Minister's presence. Ruling party members also resorted to sloganeering by moving to the aisles. Despite the adjournments with no visible respite, the chair adjourned the house till Thursday. With inputs from Vishal Dhaya and Panchanan Mishra, Kriti Mishra, Rajya Sabha TV. And it was not just the Upper House of Parliament, uh, but Lok Sabha also witnessed a virtual washout uh, for the fifth day in a row on Wednesday as the government and opposition parties continued to protest over the demonetization controversy. 
However, the government agreed to discuss the matter in the House but not under Rule 56 or 193. Lok Sabha witnessed a stormy session yet again on Wednesday with opposition parties demanding a discussion on the demonetization controversy. The Congress, TMC, AIA-DMK, Left, NCP, RJD and JDU sought a response from Prime Minister Narendra Modi who was present in the House. Parliamentary Affairs Minister later agreed to a healthy discussion in the House. चर्चा करो जो मोदी जी ने भारत सरकार ने काले धन के खिलाफ एक संघर्ष शुरू किया है इसके बारे में चर्चा करने के लिए पूरा एनडीए और भारतीय जनता पार्टी तैयार है कांग्रेस लीडर मल्लिका अर्जुन खड़गे सेड दे वर रेडी फॉर डिस्कशन अंडर रूल 56 व्हिच एंटेल्स वोटिंग व्हाइल द बीजेडी डिमांडेड डिस्कशन अंडर रूल 193 रूल 56 के तहत जो हमने जर्मेंट नोटिस दिया मोशन नोटिस दिया है उसी को आप अलाउ करें और चर्चा के लिए हमको अगर आप सम्मति दिए तो हम चर्चा शुरू करने के लिए तैयार हैं। I will firmly request you to sit in interaction with the government and to see that the debate starts from tomorrow under adjournment motion under Rule 56. Common people and farmers standing in queue. To get lower denomination in front of the ATMs and banks, madam, after denomination of the government announcement of the denomination. For that purpose only, we want a discussion on adjournment motion already given to you. The issue is very serious. Yes. So we have been asking okay. and begging to the chair okay. that the chair can direct the government considering the seriousness of the issue. The government has taken okay, a wrong okay. decision. Uh, now so okay. so I, yes, request, I, I request the okay. chair I request the chair to discuss yes, the issue yes. under the under yes. We have given a motion yes. for discussion under rule 193. That's a short duration discussion. Yes. There may be there may be a motion under rule 184 where Discussion can, can take place on a motion and a division also can be demanded. There are various ways in which the House can take up the issue for consideration. However, Lok Sabha Speaker Sumitra Mahajan disallowed the adjournment motion notices amid huge commotion. The deadlock continued as the government refused to agree to a discussion in the lower house that ends in a vote. The house was later adjourned for the day. Friend of Goswami's report for Rajya Sabha TV. Well, the opposition parties uh, stepped up resistance against government on demonetization by holding a massive protest in the parliament complex on Wednesday. Well, the opposition uh, pressed for Prime Minister's uh, statement in the House while demanding a JPC probe on alleged uh, selective leakage of information on demonetization. <laughs> Opposition MPs forming a human chain at the Gandhi statue in Parliament complex to register their protest against the decision to scrap high-value currency notes. The opposition parties claim the demonetization drive was ill-equipped and has led to the loss of several lives. Seeking to corner the government, Congress Vice President Rahul Gandhi called the demonetization as the world's biggest impromptu financial experiment. <laughs> इम्प्रॉम्प्टियो फाइनेंशियल एक्सपेरिमेंट है। प्रधानमंत्री जी ने इसके बारे में किसी से पूछा नहीं। कहा जा रहा है कि फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर को नहीं मालूम था, चीफ इकोनॉमिक एडवाइजर को नहीं मालूम था। ये डिसीजन फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर का नहीं है, ये प्रधानमंत्री का डिसीजन है और इस डिसीजन के कारण करोड़ों � it was a rare sight of unanimity as extreme political rivals like the TMC and the left, the SP and the BSP, DMK and the AIA DMK joined ranks against the center. I think the government and the Prime Minister are abdicating their responsibility under the Indian constitution. They are in fact negating the very oath that the Prime Minister has taken to become the Prime Minister. What does that oath mean? That the government of the day and as the head of the government he is answerable to the parliament. The parliamentarians are answerable to the people. 
दैट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ वी द पीपल इन आर कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन पूरे देश के अंदर जो गरीब लोग हैं मेहनत कश लोग हैं मध्यम वर्गीय लोग हैं और किसान भी ये सब लोग बड़े पैमाने पर दुखी हैं क्योंकि केंद्र की सरकार ने बिना पूरी तैयारी के जल्दबाजी में जो नोटबंदी का फैसला लिया है मैं समझती हूँ ये इनका फैसला बिल्कुल गलत है प्रधानमंत्री जी पूर्ण रूप से जुम्मेदार है अगर प्रधानमंत्री जी अपनी कैबिनेट को बिना कॉन्फिडेंस में लिए इतना बड़ा निर्णय ले सकते हैं तो हम उनके कैबिनेट के किसी मंत्री पर कैसे विश्वास कर लें कि पार्लियामेंट को सही जवाब देगा But whereas now the country is in a crisis, financial crisis almost. I think when the first of the next month comes, I think the government itself will not be able to have money to give the salary to its own employees, even the security forces. The government lashed out at the opposition for derailing the agenda of winter session of parliament. The opposition, however, alleged that Prime Minister's silence over demonetisation in parliament was causing obstruction. the wide discussion did not, not take place in lok sabha at all number one number two the discussion took place in rajya sabha only for one day why because the reason they are giving is prime minister is not uh, there to listen to their argument to their discussion to their viewpoint is prime minister not listening to them on television as well is tarah ka kadam utha kisi taiyari ke itna bada kadam uthaya to wahi halat ho gayi neem hakim khatre jaan wali jo unko jaan leva sabit ho gaya you have we have found almost every political party worth its presence or worth its name in the houses we had aia dmk as also dmk we had cpm as also tmc the parties which are otherwise at logger heads so they all have come under one flag one banner only to fight this disastrous consequence on poor people now the presence of prime minister is required for genuine reason the opposition parties have now decided to launch a nationwide akrosh divas on 28th of november Wednesday's protests inside and outside parliament indicate that the opposition is determined to be relentless in mounting pressure on the government over the demonetization issue. This is Kriti Mishra's report for Rajya Sabha TV. Well even as the opposition to the move continues uh, the government has said it will not roll back demonetization under any situation. The government's resolve came on the back of a slew of measures being announced to make matters easier for the common man. Here is a report. The government announced a slew of measures on Wednesday outlining steps to ease problems being faced by the common man owing to demonetization. The National Bank for Agriculture and Rural Development NABARD has sanctioned an additional 21000 crore rupees to the district central cooperative banks. This has been done to help small scale farmers who go to cooperative banks. Out of the total credit that flows from institutional sources, more than 40% of the requirement of a small and marginal farmers is from the cooperative credit structure so therefore the sanction of 21000 crore limit by nabard to the district central cooperative banks will enable the district central cooperative banks to pass on to sort of grant funds to sort of pass on these funds to the primary agricultural cooperative societies and the primary agricultural cooperative societies network the packs network will get activated among other measures railways has lifted the service charges on the online booking of tickets till december 31st 2016 it to 2000 atms have already been recalibrated for dispensing the new currency notes and the rest would follow soon there will also be no transaction charges on debit cards till december 31st this year the intention of the this decision and the intention behind this gesture which has been made by the banks is to ensure greater penetration of digital transactions into our economy and to ensure that more and more people migrate towards uh, digital uh, transactions and i take this opportunity to appreciate the uh, gesture of the public sector banks and uh, some of the private sector banks who have already agreed The government believes these measures will encourage people to move towards digital payments claiming that the scheme has received a positive response so far the government categorically stated on Wednesday there will be no rollback of demonetization under any circumstance 
कि देश में गरीब लोग मोदी जी के साथ हैं कि देश में किसान लोग मोदी जी के साथ हैं इस देश में गांव वाले मोदी जी के साथ हैं बहुमत हमारे पास है निर्णय सरकार ने गरीब लोगों के हित में लिया है और ये अरविंद केजरीवाल ममता बनर्जी कह रहे हैं इसको वापस ले वापस ले वापस लेना मोदी जी के खून में नहीं है ये कभी भी वापस नहीं लेंगे Meanwhile the Supreme Court refused to stay proceedings in cases filed in high courts and lower courts against demonetization. The Apex Court has also allowed cash starved cooperative banks to approach their respective high courts. Bureau report Rajya Sabha TV. Well the central government has uh, defended its decision to demonetize currency notes of 500,000 rupees now in an exclusive interview to RSTV's uh, Vishal Daya Minister of uh, State with independent charge of commerce and industry Nirmala Sitaraman said that the entire exercise was uh, planned well and curbs on withdrawal from the ATMs and the banks will be eased once enough currency to replace the demonetized notes reaches the banks let's take a listen with hindsight it will be easy for any one of us to say, uh, any one of us to say oh couldn't we have planned the ATMs better couldn't we have planned the queues better agreed mm -hmm. but then when you're taking a major decision like this with so many different parties which have to do their bit without the element of secrecy going out mm -hmm. you can go that far and not any further i don't think the threshold exists in terms of what is coming into the banks mm -hmm. because you said it together with oh this much uh, lakhs of currency has, has come and has already come into the banks mm -hmm. and therefore is there a threshold i don't think that's the way we are looking at more currency will have to reach people and the ease will come in well uh, you can catch the complete interview on uh, rajya sabha tv tonight at 10 pm so don't forget to tune in let's move on to some other news now well the gst council meeting scheduled for 25th of november has been cancelled after the center received some proposals from states regarding the draft model gst law well the council is likely to meet next on uh, 2nd and 3rd of december The officers committee of both the center and states however will meet on 25th of November to finalize the three draft legislations of the CGST, IGST and compensation law. The drafts will be placed in the public domain for stakeholders as commons. The center proposes to introduce these legislations as money bills to ensure that they are not stuck in the Rajya Sabha where the ruling NDA does not have a majority. The government is said to be on a track to introduce the legislations in the ongoing winter session of parliament which ends on 16th of December. In news at 6 we'll take a very short break we have more news on the other side stay with us. Gyan Chopper is the ancient version of Indian snakes and ladders. This intriguing game was popular among the old, the young and the rulers as well. The chopper has its origin in the Jain philosophy. It tells the story of virtue, symbolized by the ladders, rewarded, while the vices shown by the snakes are punished. Each square in turn also narrates some message of wisdom. Welcome back now the Indian army today launched a massive uh, fire assault on Pakistan along the line of control a day after it killed three Indian soldiers including mutilating the body of one of them in Jammu and Kashmir. Meanwhile, uh, firing between India and Pakistan continues along the line of control in Poonch, Rajouri, Kel and Machal sectors. The three army jawans have been injured in the shelling. The Indian army on Wednesday launched a counter-offensive against Pakistan along the line of control. A day after a soldier was mutilated and two soldiers were killed in Machal sector of Jammu and Kashmir. The assaults came hours after the army vowed heavy retribution for the brutal act. Pakistan however rejected the claims calling them false and baseless. Apni sena par pura vishwas rakhiye bharosha rakhiye itna hi kahunga. Kafi gatividhi isliye hai ki Pakistan baklai hue hain to wahan se 
जितना भी पाकिस्तान साइड से सीज फायर वायलेशन होता है उसका बड़ी जोरदार से हमारा बीएसएफ और भारतीय सेना के जवानों ने जवाब दिया है और दे रहे हैं Pakistani troops continued to shell Indian positions, injuring three border security force jawans in Rajouri district. They also fired at Indian posts along the line of control in Bhim Bair Gali, Krishnaghati and Naushera sectors. Meanwhile, Pakistan claimed that four of its citizens were killed and seven others injured in an attack near the line of control by Indian troops. Pairing is coming from Pakistan. हम लोग तो सब गांव छोड़ के बाहर भागे हुए हैं जंगल के अंदर रह रहे हैं पहाड़ी के अंदर छपे हुए हैं बहुत खतरनाक फायर आ रहा है पाकिस्तान की तरफ से हमारी इंडियन आर्मी बहुत तोर जवाब दे रही है उसका हम अंदर छुप के रह गए तो फायर बहुत सख्त जोर से हो रहा था हमारे घरों के पास भी बहुत आए नीचे तो अब भी हम छुपे हुए हैं क्योंकि हमें खतरा है कि कभी किसी वक्त भी कहीं भी गोला पड़ सकता है आप आवाज तो सुन रहे हैं कितने तेजी से चल रहा है फायर Army also paid tribute to the three soldiers who were killed in action by Pakistan along the line of control in Marshal sector on Tuesday. Meanwhile, normal life remained affected in the valley due to the strike called by the separatists. Shops, petrol pumps and other business establishments were shut, while public transport was off the roads in most areas. Kashmir has been witnessing shutdown for the last 138 days. Bureau report, Rajya Sabha TV. Now, more news from across the nation and nationwide. Punjab Congress Chief Captain Marinder Singh on Wednesday handed over to Speaker Sumitra Mahajan his resignation from Lok Sabha membership to protest over the Satluj Yamuna Link Canal issue. His resignation will be held valid from 11th of November, the date on which he sent his resignation through email to the Speaker. The Supreme Court had on 10th of November held as unconstitutional the 2004 law passed by the Punjab Assembly, denying Haryana its share in the river waters through the SYL. Six suspected Maoists were killed in an encounter with the Central Reserve Police Force in Jharkhand's Latihar district on Wednesday. Over 600 bullets and a dozen IEDs were also recovered from the area. The encounter began when a squad of Cobra commandos of the CRPF was out for operations. Search operations are still on. By poll for the one seat of Zilla Parisha, the two panchayat samitis and 44 gram panchayats in eight districts of Tripura will be held on 21st of December. The official notification for the by polls will be issued on a Thursday and the entire process of the by polls will be completed by 26th of December. A total number of 28,692 voters are eligible to excise their franchise in the by polls. Puducherry Chief Minister V. Narayan Sami has been sworn in as a member of the Assembly. He won the Nelly Thorpe Assembly by poll by defeating his immediate AIADMK rival Om Shakti Segar by a margin of more than 11,000 votes. The strength of the Congress has now been restored to 15 in the 30-member Assembly, with the DMK also supporting the government. Let's get you some international news now. Well, Colombia's government and the FARC rebel group have agreed to sign a new peace deal after the original deal was rejected in a referendum in October. Now, President Juan Manuel Santos says it is a unique opportunity to close a painful chapter in the country's history amid concerns that a delicate ceasefire could unravel unless implementation begins soon. However, the opposition says that the redrafted deal still does not go far enough in punishing rebels for human rights abuses. A revised peace deal between the Colombian government and FARC rebels is in the offing. A new document will be signed in Bogota on Thursday between the government and FARC leader Timochenko. It will then be sent to Congress for approval rather than put to a popular vote. Después de escuchar todas las propuestas y alternativas y de común acuerdo con las FARC, es claro que la vía más conveniente y legítima para refrendar este nuevo acuerdo es a través del Congreso de la República. que está más a la mano y el que es más rápido y más expedito, yo creo que entre más tiempo se dilate la refrendación del acuerdo, más espacio se le da dando a los sectores que no quieren la paz, a los sectores que quieren the new deal with some 50 plus changes comes after the one negotiated earlier this year was rejected by the public in a vote. 
The majority of voters were angered by what they saw as insufficient punishment for those who perpetrated a litany of crimes against their people. The opposition has criticized the new document as well, saying that it is just a slightly altered version of the original. It has demanded that rebel leaders be banned from holding public office and for them to be jailed for crimes. Y hemos dicho que hay una tercera categoría de temas que pueden ajustarse aquí en el Congreso. Lo grave es que el gobierno no atienda unos clamores como el clamor de la inconveniencia y la impunidad del narcotráfico. Despite the opposition's objections, President Santos has made it clear that there is no more room for negotiation. He says ratification would take place in the Congress where the ruling coalition has a solid majority, adding that nationwide desire for peace will override any objections. The government and the Revolutionary Armed Forces of Colombia, or FARC, have been in talks in Havana, Cuba, for the last four years, hammering out a deal to end a 50-year-old conflict that has killed more than two lakh and displaced millions. Santos was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize in October for his efforts in bringing an end to the conflict. Bureau Report, Rajya Sabha TV. Now time now for some uh, sporting action in Sports Beat. Saina Nehwal today advanced to the pre quarterfinals of Hong Kong Open Super Series Tournament. Saina came back from a game behind to defeat Thailand's uh, Ponte Burana Praset uh, Suk 12-21, 21-19, 21-17. Meanwhile, PV Sindhu will begin her challenge later today. She will play Susanto Yosefin of Indonesia. In the men's events, HS Pranoy and Samir Varma also advanced to the next stage. India lost 2-3 to the Australian men's hockey team in their opening match of the Four Nation Men's Invitational Hockey Tournament on Wednesday. Rupinder Pal Singh scored a brace, but the hosts sealed the scoreline with the goals in the second and the third quarters. India will now face Malaysia on Thursday in the tournament. Seamar Bhuvaneshwar Kumar has been recalled to the 16-member Indian team for the final three test matches against England, while veteran opener Gautam Gambhir was axed. Bhuvaneshwar has been out of action for more than six weeks due to back injury. While spinners have dominated India's bowling composition, Bhuvaneshwar's variations and his recent match-winning exploits in test cricket gives skipper Virat Kohli another option with the four specialists the pacers in the squad. And South African uh, cricket captain Fauf Du Plessis, uh, who was uh, charged 100% match fee for ball tampering during the Hobart Test against Australia, has said that he did nothing wrong. Du Plessis said uh, for him, the ball tampering is uh, picking the ball, scratching the ball, shining it, he said, is not in the same place. Well, that's all in this edition of News. Thanks for watching.